local Jedi temple. You had a team of writers, and that's the best name you could come up with? This is f***ing Star Wars, not reality television or cops. Okay, it is kind of cops, but write something cooler. Attack me with all your strength. Choosing this as your Star Wars catchphrase. You don't have to have a catchphrase, May. You aren't a Star Trek captain. <laughs> Attempting to counteract Jedi powers with parkour. I'm sorry, I gotta ask, do you think he poops or is he just all jammed up? Convenient skylight is convenient and conveniently open. On my mic neck. Wow, that's dangerous. More dangerous than being sent on a mission to apprehend a Jedi assassin? Jedi is probably the most dangerous job in the galaxy next to Sarlacc pit biologist. I'd say Osha's life expectancy increased by at least 14% when she became a ship mechanic. But I'm better company than a droid and um, way more flexible. Is she, is she hitting on her? Because she's just a Padawan. That's like illegal. Pip is also very flexible. Pip? The droid that can't even rotate his head a full 360 degrees? You sure about that? Osha has a twin sister. Revealing Osha has a twin sister in episode two. This isn't the parent trap. Didn't you watch The Prestige? If you have a secret twin, you wait until the very end to reveal them in a magnificent plot twist. Bonus points if your twin is Batman. Oh, hey, hey. Jason Mendoza isn't watching a Jacksonville Jaguars game in this scene. Oh, this is a pip droid. I'm trying to sink him to your ship so I can get some fuel levels and some vitals and- Whoa, whoa, whoa. They just cleared you for murder. Don't you think you're getting a little too comfortable with their ship? What's next? Changing the radio from the passenger seat? And you hate it. It doesn't matter what I like. Say what you will about this show's writing, but Lee Jong Jae is so warm, caring, and loving his soul. He's carrying this series and I can't help but smile and I want a hug from him whenever he's on screen. Once in off for a lead detective who, if he was alive 100 years later, would definitely have kept Anakin from falling to the dark side. And they still left the convenient open. Sorry. And they still convenient the skylight open. All right, once more. And they still left the skylight convenient. Eh, close enough. Confess your crime to the Jedi Council or receive the forgiveness you seek. Or, and hear me out here, he just keeps floating like a lazy, untouchable badass. I've been waiting for you, mate. Have you? Because last time she was there, you didn't even open your eyes. Motion. Following your evil twin when they whisper call your name instead of running the other direction, telling your therapist or taking a nap. Forgive me. We thought we were doing the right thing. You're supposed to wait for her to forgive you before you drink, so then the camera can pan behind her and we can see that her fingers were crossed the entire time. How did she get there first? She went in the opposite direction of the main group. Are the Jedi's in the lead lost in their own temple? I know what this looks like, but I can explain. I just decided to stupidly crouch next to this fresh corpse to generate some cheap tension. Is it working? She didn't do it. My sights were on her the entire time. And I waited here, up these stairs, just out of sight, so she could get caught with the body, and I could emerge dramatically to prove her innocence. May, uh, are you okay? Well, this plan fell apart faster than wet toilet paper. Is it too late to hop in the world between worlds and retry this with Yord's plan? You look exactly like her. That is how the whole identical twins thing tends to work. If you cooperate, we will consider letting you go with a warning. What? You let people go with a warning for doing donuts outside an Arby's, not for being an accomplice in an assassination. Who is he? Uh, I, I thought he was with you. <laughs> uh, oh, f***ing Manny Jacinto never fails to make me laugh. Go ahead, take one last sin off before I have to watch your needlessly ignite his lightsaber again. I have a bad feeling about this. <sighs> You know what? I'm undoing your sin removal for Manny Jacinto and adding two more. That line is basically like a fourth wall break at this point, and I like my fourth walls distinctively unbroken. You killed Indara and Torbin? Well, actually, Torbin killed himself. May merely supplied the poison he willingly chose to come out of his impervious meditation and consume for some reason. You have misunderstood the Jedi arts. Considering she's halfway through her kill list, I think she may understand them pretty Pretty, pretty, pretty well. My sister is dead! Wait, what about all those creepy twin dreams and force visions? Those weren't shared? I have questions, but I know the answers will be bullshit, so I will not ask them. Lay your weapons down and surrender. No, no, didn't you hear Soul? And pretty much everyone else in these first two episodes? May doesn't use weapons. She has none to lay down. Surely this isn't going to work, especially not on Soul, who can read minds and was introduced in the series talking about how you can't trust your eyes. Surely he'll be able to track her, and she's gone. I've lost visual. I'm turning back around. What, no sensors or infrared? You're just eyeballing it? All those dials and screens just for show? The ergonomics for this gun. With respect, 
We don't have time for talks, Master Vanestra. So clearly you do have time for it. But we know where she's going next. We must we move. We don't make decisions like this without meaningful discussion, Soul. I get this scene is to show how inflexible and vulnerable the Jedi are, but it almost feels too ridiculous. If someone's on their way to kill me, then go ahead and skip the meeting. It can just be an email. So May gets the drop on Demir, who dodges all of her strikes and then overpowers her? I guess she's supposed to be inexperienced and probably is not going to be the real big bad for the series, but maybe let her look at least somewhat impressive against seemingly normal people. You sold me out to the Jedi. They're right up there. They're everywhere. Except not the kind of everywhere where a bunch of these super force-wielding badasses couldn't keep a single prisoner from escaping. Not that kind of everywhere. I should kill you for betraying me like this. Thinking about if you should when you haven't even proven that you could. I can make it up to you. I can get us out of this city. How? It must be surrounded by Jedi. It's going to take an amazing planner. He's gone. Come on. And they're gone. <laughs> Wookiees already have the strength to literally snap a laser gun in two. Giving one the force just seems like cheating. It'd be like giving Michael Phelps the ability to fly. Oh, right. The poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. I think I pulled my hamstring. Wow, that's dangerous. I am dangerous. <laughs> Pip is also very flexible. Dang, you speak robot? Osha has a twin sister. Okay, we got sisters. Anytime I had a problem and I threw a Molotov cocktail, boom, right away, I had a different problem. Pocket sand. Ah! Yeah! Ah!